As we report frequently here on Tokyo on Fire, things going on in Osaka have a big impact on things going on politically here in Tokyo. For example, there was a dual election last weekend for the governor of Osaka and the mayor of Osaka. A couple of political parties were vying for position. They had candidates for each of those positions. And Ishin no To, which is the one Osaka party, came out like a gangbuster. They won both seats. And uh, now that has emboldened them. They are moving forward to schmooze up to the LDP here in Tokyo in anticipation of the upper house election coming up this summer. Michael, how do you feel about this pretty much a landslide victory for Ishin no To? Well, they certainly did a lot better than I would have expected. I thought that the LDP was going to put on a, a much bigger fight than it, it turned out to be. The, the candidates that were supported not just by the LDP, but also by the opposition DPJ and, and, even, the Communist Party. and even the the JCP, the Japan Communist Party, they all banded together in, in absolute hatred of mm -hmm. the Osaka Ishin group and saying, we will stop them. Well, they didn't. And they got trounced. And it was not just a double victory. There was also a by-election for Osaka for one of the assembly seats. And, and the Ishin group won that one as well. So it was a triple, a triple whammy. There's always been this tension between Osaka and Tokyo, always vying at, at lots of different levels, baseball, uh, food, culture, humor, all sorts of things Harbor. going on. Yes, um, it's, a, it's a different culture, it's a different uh, situation. In any event, the politicians there have cobbled together uh, uh, an alliance and even defeated the LDP, but the LDP in Osaka is different from the LDP in Tokyo. It's been a really strange dance. There's been a lot of movement between Mr. Abe and the leader of the Ishin movement, the man who founded it all, Hashimoto Toru. Right. And Hashimoto, when he was first establishing his first version of the party, he actually approached Abe and said, will you be the party's leader? This was before Abe started making his move toward becoming once again, the president of the LDP. And he was assumed to be a washed up nobody that no one cared about. Uh, he said no, Abe said no at that time, and, and now is in a much better position for having said it. But nevertheless, the relationship has continued. And that is really bizarre, because you would think that parties would be very careful to maintain unity over the entire countries, particularly if it's the second largest urban agglomeration in the country. Right. But basically, the uh, central government, the Abe cabinet, just simply cut off the LDP of Osaka at the knees and said, try to walk away from this one, and they were not able to do so. In terms of pecking order, the LDP is by far the largest political party in Japan. That's followed closely by Komeito, and they are in a, a, an alliance now running the Japanese government. There are several other parties. Ishin Noto was really way out in, the, in the, the back of the pack. And with this election victory, it looks like they're gaining speed and they're, they're picking up momentum. Well, they, were, they did, okay, the, the version 2.0 of that party, when it contested in two, December of 2012, was the number two party in the country. It surpassed the, the op what is now the opposition, the DPJ. But it has splintered in smaller and smaller pieces. It has come back together as a regional party in Osaka for this particular election. And it did well. Mm -hmm. Whether that, what that means for the future of Japan is a, is a question, because it's really about Hashimoto. Right. It's about him, and about Osaka's having a chip on its shoulder because it's the second city, and doesn't have the same kind of organization that Tokyo does. Well, he's like a lot of people, he doesn't like to lose. And his vision of having a, a, a metropolitan uh, Osaka uh, was put up for referendum. That lost. He put his political life on the, on the line. He said, if we don't win this referendum, then I will resign, which is what he did. And so we have now this surrogate victory of his through mm -hmm. his associates, including the, the co-founder of the, the party, uh, Matsu Ichiro. I don't see much effect except, of course, like I always say, if there... If an op some opposition force is in charge of the second largest urban area, then 
and it's not the DPJ, the main opposition party, then the DPJ has no road to challenging. So it weakens the DPJ even further. Yeah, it weakens the DPJ even further, which is maybe why uh, Mr. Abe has uh, stabbed his own party members in the back. Right. Well, not a good time for the DPJ because they're also suffering from their own infighting. Right. As we reported last week on Tokyo on Fire. Mm -hmm. Well, on what the outlook is for 2016 and the House of Council's election, with, if, unless Hashimoto really somehow blows it again, like he did a few years back when he made stupid comments about the, the comfort women, right. ha- blowing his party apart. If he, he stays in the background and, and keeps his mouth shut, well, he won't do that, but he'll stay in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we're looking at a major victory for the LDP, likely, right. in 2016. Politics in the making. Please stay tuned as we watch what develops here in Osaka and how much influence that has on the upper house elections coming this summer.